In this lecture, we will show you a few examples of how to configure ASP8266 networking services and use the ASP8266 in a Wi-Fi environment. We will use the Arduino integrated development environment to have the possibility to write programs for our ESP model, Arduino must be properly configured and ESP8266 libraries must be installed. Programming networking services with ESP requires a connection to the networking layer between parties. The ESP system on chip can act as an access point, a device you connect to and as a client. ESP then behaves like any Wi-Fi enabled device connecting to the internet infrastructure. Interestingly, ESP8266 system on chip can also act simultaneously in both modes at once. In our example, we'll use the ESP8266 D1 mini board. Let's start with the Arduino IDE. Next, open Boards Manager from the Tools, Board Menu and select your ESP8266 development board model from the Tools Board Menu, where we'll select the board ESP8266 D1 board here, but you may choose other ESP8266 based on board suitable to your hardware model. Now we must select proper COM port to which our board is connected to. To do this, select Tools, Port and then COM port number. Now our environment is ready to use, so let's test it with built-in Wi-Fi access point, example from the File Examples menu. Please choose ESP8266 Wi-Fi, then Wi-Fi access point. That brings a new development window. Now we can compile and upload our program to the board. After compilation, uploading will start automatically. If everything was successful, our board restarts automatically and now acts as an access point with a simple www server. Now we should check the correctness of the operation. First, we must connect the computer Wi-Fi interface to the access point named ESPAP with the password in our example set to there is no spoon. If it was successful, then by typing in a browser IP address of our access point board, the server returns a message you are connected as confirmation that we are properly connected to our board www server. Let's start another example in Arduino IDE. Now ESP8266 should be a client to Wi-Fi network infrastructure. From the File Examples menu, choose ESP8266 Wi-Fi, then Wi-Fi Client. This example demonstrates how to program ESP8266 in client mode. Before compiling, we must give correct values of SSID and password necessary to connect to our available access point. Now we can compile and upload our program to the board. If everything was successful, our board restarts automatically. And our board now is a client to the Wi-Fi network. We are ready to send and receive TCP packets. To check our Wi-Fi client connection, we must open a serial monitor. The serial monitor settings must include the same transmission speed as we used in the setup section of our code. In the serial monitor window, we are receiving uh, messages from a remote server. The third example shows how to send and receive UDP packets while in client mode. From the File Examples menu, choose ESP8266 Wi-Fi, then NTP Client. It is the full solution to connect ESP8266 to the network time protocol, shortly NTP server, to obtain current date and time from the internet as our board doesn't have a real-time clock as in the previous example, 
Before compiling, we must uh, give correct values of SSID and password necessary to connect to our available access point. Now we can compile and upload our program to the board. If everything was successful, our board is a client of our Wi-Fi network and ready to read actual time from one of the NTP servers in the world. To check the correctness of the operation, we must open a serial monitor. Remember the serial monitor settings must include the same transmission speed as we used in the setup section of our code. In the serial monitor window, we are receiving the messages with the actual time now.